In this video, we'll look at whether BEF2 is an ionic or covalent compound. This is beryllium fluoride. So first off, if we look at beryllium on the periodic table, that's right here, and then fluorine. So we have a metal and a nonmetal. So we would expect with a metal and a nonmetal, this would be an ionic compound. But beryllium and fluorine, they're really small atoms, and their ions are very small as well. So we need to take that into consideration. The difference in electronegativity is fairly large. It's greater than two, so that's another thing that would make us think that this is ionic. But again, because these are small, we should probably think about something called Fajan's rules to figure out whether BEF2 is ionic or covalent. So first off, we look at the charge the beryllium will form when it becomes an ion, and that's 2 plus. So since 2 plus, it's fairly high positive charge. Beryllium is also a small cation, so it's a pretty small cation, so that makes us think maybe covalent as well. And then fluorine, that's a fairly small anion. But most of the evidence here is pointing towards beryllium fluoride being a covalent compound. It would have some ionic character, certainly, but overall, if we had to classify it, most scientists classify beryllium fluoride as a covalent compound. And that's because of the small size on the beryllium ion. What that means is that it's so small that its nucleus can pull some of the electron density away from the fluorine, and you have more of a sharing that you would expect with a covalent compound. But there is considerable ionic character to this bond as well. This is Dr. B looking at whether BEF2 is ionic or covalent. It's considered a covalent compound, but does have some ionic character. Thanks for watching.